Yo, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be discussing and playing the one mode you should be playing if you want to rank up your guns faster. If you want to level up your guns faster in multiplayer, this is the mode you should be playing. We're talking about Fireteam Dirty Bomb today. A lot of people don't know about this mode, but we're going to play it a little bit. I'm going to kind of explain how it goes, and I'm going to explain how fast you can get your weapons done all my weapons are max rank right now so you guys aren't really going to see any progression but i can vouch that fire team dirty bomb is the wave as far as weapon leveling if you guys do enjoy this video and you guys don't mind leaving an early like for me be greatly appreciated subscribe turn on notifications all that good jazz go follow me on my twitch it'll be down in the description below we'll be playing some zombies tonight on stream because i'm grinding out some more of the dark plague camo or not the dark plague oops we'll be grinding out more gold viper camos in order to get dark aether and zombies and yeah without further ado let's go bros all right so this is fire team dirty bomb and a lot of people don't know about this mode i've seen a lot of people compare this mode to plunder from modern warfare or plunder from warzone and that's pretty much what this is pretty much the objective is you have to kill enemies and take their uranium and then go take it to one of the bomb sites as you guys can see abcd and you guys will be able to deposit your uranium into the bomb site and all that stuff i have dark matter and I just got outgunned right there. That's that's awesome, dude. That's just awesome. That's insane. What? <laughs> so as you guys can see, there's D right here, C, B, E. Uh, A's around here somewhere too. Yep, there's A. There's that's where my team is. But if you want to level your weapons up real fast, go play this mode. There was times where I was leveling up weapons so so fast in this mode. I, sometimes it would take two hours to get all the way up to level thirty for some weapons. And that's way faster than any other mode, dude. It's way faster. You can choose between this map or the snow map. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't played Dirty Bomb in a little bit. There's two maps to choose from. You're on a team of four, pretty much. And you can play this. And I'm telling you, it's way faster than zombies. And it's way faster than just regular multiplayer if you don't want to sweat out all the time because of how crazy the Scoist matchmaking is. So I'm coming to some... I'm trying to come save you, Panda. But I'm being shot from afar. Come to me, come to me. There you go. Good stuff. Good job. Fight! Up oh, and you died. That that sucks. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Dude, can I stop being shot at, bro? Oh my god, bro. Jesus. What am I what are my teammates doing? Oh! He's trying oh, he's trying to get point blanks. I mean, that's another good way for point blank kills, I guess. Now the thing about me uh, the thing about this mode is that it does take a while. As you guys can see. I have been, uh, I, I'm like collecting uranium or whatever around the map. And I'm just depositing it into the bomb site. And then you gotta detonate the bomb pretty much. Now, honestly, this is also a really good mode for doing camos. But the way that they do the le weapon leveling is so slow that in order to actually make somewhat of progress, you gotta play this mode. Now, this depends on how many kills you get, but there are times where I rank up guns probably five, six, seven times a game, sometimes even 10. And that's pretty crazy in and of itself. Okay, I, I guess I guess none of those bullets hit. Yeah, that's 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 awesome. Yeah. I will say one of the only things I don't really like about this mode is the fact that you can get streaks out of the supply crates or whatever that are on the ground, so anyone can get a anyone can get a chopper gunner just like real easy. I do find it very weird how there are some people who take this mode very very seriously. I will say that if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, but you know. There's people that take this mode serious, and it's, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I use this mode pretty much for weapon leveling, and that was the only thing. But, I mean, it's cool. It's cool to play. It's really fun to troll people in this mode, too. If you guys didn't check out my trolling video where we trolled this one kid, it was hilarious. So, definitely go check that out. I'll leave that down in the description below, and it'll be up on the top right of your screen. Now, if you're on PS4 and you're playing this mode, and you party up with other friends on PlayStation, you'll be able to get... An XP bonus because you're partied up with people on PlayStation. That's a huge benefit in this mode if you're trying to rank up weapons. Pretty sure the bonus is for weapon XP. It's either for weapon XP or just regular XP. But either way, it really helps. It really, really helped. Dude, oh my god. Yo, can you come help me? Hey yo. Hey yo. Ayo, 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 ayo! Now, once you hit about level 30 or so on weapons, at least for the primaries, because for secondaries, the level cap is 35, I believe. Once you hit level 30 or so, the amount of XP that you need when leveling up guns is increased. So, I would definitely pay attention to that when you get above level 30. Sometimes, I feel like it starts around level 28 or so, but once you get to level 30 through 50, 
it's it just takes so long so i would definitely take advantage of this mode while you're doing your double xp and all that good stuff i'm not gonna lie this mode is kind of fun when you're just trying to have a chill time and not trying to sweat a bunch when you're just trying to have a chill time i mean i don't know getting third party is really annoying to me but you know and then what's really nice is when you get all your weapons leveled up you can go grind all the camos that you want that's just what I did. Especially when you want to grind zombies and multiplayer. That's the one really good thing about this game is that all the weapon levels are connected somehow. They are intertwined with one another. Your rank in zombies crosses over with multiplayer. And it's just a nice, it's, it's just a nice thing that they did for this game. I'm really glad that they did that. Yo, who the f*** am I being shot by? Yo, I'm being completely pooped on right now. You gotta get kills in order to do this, by the way. I'm really not doing a good job of showing that, but... Yeah, you gotta get kills. There was one point where combined arms was really good for this too, but I'm pretty sure that they skewed the combined arms XP to match the regular multiplayer XP. Don't quote me on that though. I don't really remember if they did that. Someone told me that and I can't remember who it was. A lot of the times what I like to do is I kind of just like to go for kills. So I'll kind of go away from the objective and kind of sit off in the back behind the objective and try to get as many kills as I can. I feel like I'm trustworthy for this tip because I have dark matter. So I feel like I'm qualified, even though I suck ass. See, like, look, he's got dark aether. So that's how you also should know that this mode is great for weapon leveling. And the fact that he's still playing this mode means that he was definitely playing this mode while he was trying to grind weapon levels. And you stop shooting me as soon as I fucking spawn. This is the mode to play if you guys want to rank up your guns faster. Not a lot of people know about this mode. And everyone's kind of like, oh, it's like a Walmart war zone. But, you know, <laughs> it's, it's whatever, man. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the video. Goodbye.